Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Well, just really Pokemon Sword for me. All right, so what are we doing today? We're looking for a Lapras. We are looking for a Lapras. Fortunately, we're also looking for a Quillfish, which is also in the same area. We just, Although the Quillfish, we need to just look for. Like, supposedly, if you just go around, he's, he should show up. Though, so, what does this? Pearl String. All right. Insert any window here. Supposedly, if you just go around, the quillfish could just show up. I have no idea if that's actually true. The Lapras, though, we're going to have to actually fish for. Um, all right. That's a dead end. Is there something shiny on that side? Let's see if we can find it. Go down this way. I thought I said something shiny over here. Uh, but there it is. Big Pearl. All right, great. Another item right here. Pearls everywhere. Uh, that's not how pearls work, game, but okay. So if there are any quillfish around here, they're hiding. These guys love to fight. I don't want to fight you, man. I don't want to fight you. I mean, I guess I kind of do because I need the experience. Because my guys are super low right now. But what I could do instead is we could go to... I was going to say gems. That's not quite right. The Dynamax spots. Oh, shit, spots. I don't want to get to you. It's all right. Fine, whatever. We'll fight a Walmer. Let's do it. Walmer? Walmer? Wooga Booga Wawa? One of those. I don't know. Um, all right. So, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Shock. Plus, we're like, you know, 12 levels above you, so you just die. He didn't die. He didn't die. I was gonna hide underwater now, like a little coward. So pretty much anything we do right now is a waste. We don't have a choice. Um, do you pluck? Because that doesn't matter at all. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. All right. So the water's gonna hit. It's fine. It hurts at all. Got buffeted by the hail, and then you die. Probably freeze dry would have worked better. Water type and all that. There you go. Off you go, Walmer. I guess we could have also just. We could have. We probably could have snagged him. Now that I think about it. A little bit too late. It's alright. It's fine. Um, alright. So, if there's gonna be a quillfish anywhere, I have no freaking clue. My guess would be down. I don't know where a Lapras would show up either, so... Kind of in the same boat there. Hello. I've never been here over here. We got Rock Slide. Didn't we already get that? I could have sworn we already picked this up. Maybe not from that location, but I could have sworn we already picked up Rock Slide from somewhere else. Now, if there are any Quillfish around here, they're hiding. The fishing spot here. I'm just wondering if I can... Okay. Hello, Manti. We have not grabbed one of you guys, right? I don't think we did. I think we keep trying to keep running away. Yeah, we don't have one of these. Alright, we can try Thundershock here, but 10 levels above you, you're probably toast. Can we toast? Yeah, that's what toast looks like, but we might be able to get him. Alright. He springs into the sky. We're buffeted by the hail. And he is not dead yet, but he's totally going to be. Can I get him? I mean, I can't get him now. I mean, he lives underwater. The dive ball should work, but it's not going to work now, is it? it? Seems like a waste to do it now. Um, the moon ball is a waste and a half. Yeah, we can't do anything right now. Oh, we can heal our Pokemon. Unfortunately, the Mantine is going to take some damage and die. It's just how it goes. It's what's going to happen. Just accept it. So really, right now, we can just take a little bit of time. Rest, relax, meditate. These things happen. Uses bounce. Big deal. And then the Mantine dies, I think. Yep, there he goes. Goodbye. All right. Well, turns out that bounce is not conducive to his health. I should take a closer look at our levels because I've totally forgotten how things go there. 
Right, this guy is just gonna bounce around, so that's just a thing. Oh, what was that? Something bounced right there and ran away. Okay, where did we see that quillfish before? We saw a quillfish. Let me think about this. It wasn't here. Yeah, it wasn't with you. It was up here. Is it up? Let's see. I saw the quillfish. Like, if I just passed the fishing spot over here or something. Let's see. Oh, hello, Wild. My fault. Well, we'll take this opportunity to see if we can capture him. Alright, gamer guy. What do you do? We just thundershock him, right? And we can just see and experiment, see what freeze dry does. Show us to it. See if that does more damage or less damage than thundershock. The answer is it murders. Okay, good to know. So it was an opportunity. It was an opportunity to learn. Okay, so Mullen Maria really needs to level up. Commander Winters does too. Our Mimiyoku is okay. Cliffkeeper needs to level up, and Martinet definitely needs to level up. There you go. That helps. He wants to move Wonder Room? Dare I ask? Dare I ask? It's a psychic move. It creates a bizarre area in which Pokemon's defense and special defense stats are swapped for five turns. Um, well, your special defense is 60, which is pretty shit. And your defense is 102. So I guess that would be an improvement for you, kind of, except your defense drops down to 60. So, not that great. I don't know. I mean, it's a psychic terrain, which I was wondering what that was anyway. But... no? No. No, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. No wonder room for me, thanks. It's an interesting idea, though. You create a psychic room, I guess. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Phenomenon. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh, so see, now we're back on Route Nine. I thought we were still on Route Nine before. This is where we saw the cool fish. It was up here. There's no fishing spot. I can't open notice. That there was. I hallucinate that whole thing. Now there it is. There it is. Okay. So I think we just hang out here until a quillfish spawns. Usually fall, spawns where that pelican is right now, but that'll be fine. But yeah, this should be where we need to find Lapras anyway. 1% chance. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Except just wait here for that 1%. I was really hoping that was going to be it. I was going to be so thrilled. That would, that would be a little crazy. So instead we're going to fight an artillery, which is fine. We actually have one of these guys already, so we don't need to do anything too special about this. So, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Shock? That's just freeze dry. It's nice having options. I should just get rid of him. Boop. To be fair, if I was freeze dried, I'd probably die too. So, freeze drying, I think, is when you freeze dry something. Basically, you want to get all the moisture out of it, out of something. We need to take out this guy in order to get a quillfish cool spawn. We might need to. Or we, like, walk away or walk back. But yeah, freeze dry is whenever you want to get the... It's funny everything freezes. That's not helpful. I thought for sure time would pass. Um, freeze dry is when you want to get all the moisture out of something. So you freeze it, but you don't cover it. So the ice doesn't stick around. You kind of, like, hang it up. And so the moisture, when it gathers, will gather on the food a bit. But for the most part, it'll fall off. And then when you uh, when you unfreeze the food later, uh, it's basically as a consistency of jerky, which could be what you want. We're gonna have to spend a lot of time leveling up here. I'm one percent chance. If we do a hundred battles. I'm tempted to count. I'm tempted to put up a counter right now and just see. And we could keep count. All we're going to find is Octillery. It's going to be like a real, 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 I can't speak today. That's not helpful. No, it's not Avalanche. That's not what I wanted. Whatever. Bullet Seed's going to hurt a little bit. It'd be funny if Avalanche kills him anyway. And it says not very effective. I don't think it's going to work. Actually, that was pretty good for a non-effective move. 
Plus he's buffeted by the hail. You know what? Do avalanche again. That should actually kill him. Why not? Ice beam? Really? On the R yeah, that's not gonna work out so well. But again, it's mostly about the level differences, right? I mean type differences do count for a bit. Because otherwise it wouldn't take in two hits for this guy, but still. Alright, Commander Winters is up. Didn't learn anything though. Alright. Uh, we might have to leave and come back for the cool finish of Chances Bond. We don't have to go very far. Actually, just to the next fishing spot might be efficient. Alright. Because he already disappeared. And then he came back. But if we do keep on doing that, he disappears and comes back, and maybe he just comes back as another thing. I think the quillfish is 30%. I have to look at that. I think it's 30%. But right now it appears to be a... Yeah, it's... Um, it's not it, basically. Matinee. What do we call those things? Flying fish is what he's trying to do right now. That's not it. It's funny you can't fish while you're sitting on the lake, but I guess that would kind of scare the fish away. Actually, would it? If you have a boat... I mean, you're not fishing from a boat that's... I don't see... Okay, so you can fish from a boat, right? You can totally do it. It's a thing. But this is a boat where you'd have to keep balance, but would you, though? Because the... The tires have, like, these inflatable pieces around them. In which case, you're not really a... You're not really a bicycle anymore, right? I mean, you kind of are, but there's four of them, so you're kind of more of a car. Which means you don't need to keep your balance nearly as well. Like, if I stop here, see, I need to put down a leg, right? But if I stop in the middle of the water, I don't. I'm not putting down... Oh, there's one. I don't need to put down a leg, so I don't know how that works. It seems like you should be able to fish from it, but I don't know how that works either. Apparently, we were able to drag this guy into shore to fight him. Okay, 42. We just need to be very careful here. I think we go for things that are not super effective, because that will just murder him. Uh, we go pluck. I don't know if we want effective either. Now, let's go not very effective. Let's get him to the half, and then maybe... Try to capture him with a dive ball, maybe? That could work. Okay, yeah, pin missile, big deal. Hurts a little bit, that's for sure. We should definitely make sure Gamer Guy has some health. Okay, there's Avalanche, that's fine. It's not very effective, but he's getting buffeted by the hail, which hurts him down to yellow, which maybe makes him capturable. Maybe. I wanna try a dive ball here. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm hoping the level difference will make it work. Let's see. I don't want to use too many of these because I want to save one for Lapras, but if this just works, that could be great. Okay, great. So we got ourselves a cool fish. That's it just done. Didn't even have a chance to put him up, but 30% chance is a lot easier than 1%, you know? He gave our guy up. Not that I really... Well, we need these guys at least 55, probably, right? Alright, cool fish. Water and poison. When faced with a much larger opponent, it swallows as much water as it can to match the opponent's size. Um, okay, sure. It's only eight and a half pounds, though. We battled two of these? Oh, that's right. No, we did. So there was this one. That's one. But then there was a, a trainer that had one. That's right. Um, let's see. Yes, we would, because this guy does not evolve. So we do want that. So, Bot of the Universe, what name should we get of our quillfish? Okay, I totally forgot this was a thing, but apparently I have a YouTube subscriber that calls himself the Doctor. So that's what we're gonna do. The Doctor. Tardis not included. Um, do we want to send him? To, uh, let's see. Water and poison. Water and poison. Water and poison. Are we gonna be fighting dragons? Does it matter? If we don't have fairy or ice or another dragon, it's really not gonna matter. Yeah, no, I think we want him in a box right now. But we need to put him in a special place in the box so we know that he's a special type. Um, hold on, I can't get to my stuff from here. There we go. Okay, so let's make sure our boxes are organized properly here. 
All right, so go to the last box here. There you go. All right, Quillfish. We want to grab you and put you in box one. And just trade places with you. That's fine. We haven't quite filled up a box. About halfway. If we emptied this box out, I'm kind of tempted to, but we're not going to do it right now. But still, these guys are all on of all types. Well, they can catch you in sword anyway. There's a couple I'd like to catch that are only that are shield exclusives. But like this guy, somebody traded with me. That was very nice of him. Um, somebody traded oops, this guy. And I've totally forgotten right now what his name means. I've totally forgotten. It's like Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Some pun in Japanese that I don't totally remember. And to get the moon guy, we need to trade um, for Martinette, but... Um, that's okay. We don't need one right now. It's basically the same the same deal. Um, all right, so... Yeah, I think we already have the, the groups we want, right? This is flying in water. We're seeing if maybe there's a fire dragon. Might be Commander Winter's job to do that, but really it's the ice here we want. If we get another fairy, that'd be great. I don't know. I don't know, man. So we're gonna we're here for the Lapras. We don't might not need him for the next battle, but you never know. All the rest of these guys, we just basically need to level up. I honestly don't know if Psychic's gonna do anything. Maybe. Psychic can occasionally hurt. This dragon fight is gonna just blow my mind. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now we're fishing pretty much all the time now. Lapras all the time. I know last time we were talking about going over to one of the other lakes and seeing if there's anything there. But really, that guy is going to be level 55. I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture her anyway. Oh, hello, the Wishawashi. I don't know if I can zap you all at once. Maybe a freeze dry will do it? Maybe. Also forgot to, to uh, give some help to gamer guy here, so... I don't think he's going to get bashed, so I think it'll be fine. So freeze dry this, please. I mean, 10 level difference should be enough. Almost. If we wanted to capture him, now's the time. Aqua Ring, but he's still going to get buffeted by Hail, so I don't know how that works. And he's, uh, he's almost out. No, he got healed by it. He got healed by it. All right. But the schooling goes away, at least. But he's still protected by that Water Veil. So it's not worth going after him. You know, I'll just go ahead and just heal up Gamer Guy right now. Uh, that is approximately 50. Yeah, it's 52. Fresh water will do it. No, it's 30. Never mind. All right, let's do 60, then it's fine. Uh, I'm not max potion. That's, that's crazy. Super potion. There you go. Forgot that we alphabetized this. It actually stuck, though, between resets. I shut down the game and started it up again, and we still managed to get it there. He buffed it by the hail, but then he heals again, right? Okay, well, that's what just what Water Veil does. I thought Water Veil would protect him with the next attack. I don't need to do that. Let's just fight him. Avalanche would be enough. Pluck would probably be enough, too. Alright, alright. Don't make my potion useless, buddy. I don't appreciate it. Off you go. Alright, well, it comes down to our fishing prowess. How good are we are capturing the thing we wanted to capture? I mean, the thing is, in video games... Well, okay, so in most video games, you'd actually be able to pick, right? They would say, you know, you need to get certain kind of bait in order to pull the certain kind of guy. And so you'd have, like, a higher chance or something. But here, we're just purely at the whim of the random number gods. And it's just how it goes. All right, well, freeze-dry seems to work in, so I'm just going to keep on going with that. Eventually, we're going to run out of freeze-dry, though, and we're going to have to do Thundershock. There you go. Tillery down. If we grab a Wishiwashi, that's good, too. All right, Mimiyuku's up. We even wrote down what Mimiyuku's name was, and I totally don't remember now. But if you get some kind of bait... Some way to make sure that you got a Lapras. How would you even do that? There's so many different types of water types. 
that you can fish from here. I think there's like seven. You can fish from just this location. Then there's another probably 15 to 20 that are just effective pretty much everywhere. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. You'd have to have like a different kind of bait for like a subset of the water types. I don't know how you do that either. Okay, great. You get buffeted by the hail, and then we knock you out with another thunder shock. Pluck would have worked too. Just trying to vary it up a little bit. Alright, good. You're out. Our Draco guy is, or Arco Zolt rather, is really crazy. We could go over to the other fishing spot and kind of like vary. I don't know if that matters at all. What we're trying to do here. Oh, look, a wishy washy. Hello, wishy washy. Alright, he's gonna school again, which means we're probably not gonna be able to take him out that easily. Um, in which case, a Thundershock might as well. Do Thundershock and then Pluck. That should work out. Yeah, so you'd have to introduce like. 20 different baits? I mean, how would you even get the subsets? Okay, what does that do? Gamer guys changed to water? Thanks, I guess, you craziness. Type changed to water. I think that makes it so that my attack should be less effective, right? But Pluck's not gonna be a water. Well, maybe. No, change my type though, didn't change my attack types. So, yeah, that's weird. It's a weird ability. I'm not sure what that does. I guess if he had electric or was working with somebody who was electric, then it would do more damage to our Arcazolt. Maybe. It's very strange. I wonder how, when it's determined what fish is in here or what Pokemon's in here. Is it when it's pulled or when we see it generated? But as we can just tell. Um, do freeze dry. I mean, we don't necessarily need the loppers. We just need experience. How are we going to get the best experience for our buck here? A couple different ways we do it. We do this. Don't know if that's necessarily the best bang for a buck. We do this. Or we could go and fight some Dynamax Pokemon and get some rare candies, and that would also level us up. It's been a while since I've done the Dynamax fights. So that might be okay. There's the Lopras in there. That would actually simplify a lot of things. I don't think that's a thing, though. I mean, it could be. I think almost every Pokemon has a chance to have a Dynamax version somewhere in the den, so maybe. Actually, it has been a while. Maybe we do that. Because I don't know how effective doing this is right now. I'm going to basically rest up between those fights anyway. We don't get any levels, we don't get any experience in the fight itself. Well, and also we're a high enough level. That might be a problem because the NPCs are not good at this. They are not good at the Dynamax fights. Like, there's been a couple of times when we've actually failed it because the NPCs just were not pulling their weight. I mean, granted, I made some bad plays too. Excuse me, I hit that button exactly. Game. And we could try it. We could try going into somebody else's fights, too. We'll see, we can see what happens. I don't know if I'm connected to the internet right now. No, I'm not, because it would be down at the bottom left, huh? Okay, we just need to connect to the internet. We can do that. I have verified my lead card code anyway, so why the hell not? Uh, freeze dry again. Look see more of those. Why the hell not? There you go. The real question is, Lapras is any good? That I don't know. He might not be. He might actually be just horrible. He might be a terrible Pokemon. It happens. The unevolved types are tough to balance around. I can definitely understand that. It's just really tough sometimes to balance these types out. Like this guy. This guy's horrible. This guy basically... He has a guard ability... And the way he fights is I think he throws up his insides. It's all very strange. I think Thundershock should take this guy out. 
He's not electric. It feels like he should be. I don't know why. Actually, he did not take him out. He got stunned, though. Maybe. He's got counter, which does nothing. It only really works if we manage to touch him, but Thundershock does not touch. I don't think we have any... I think Pluck is in touch ability, but that's about it. But yeah, this guy is just so... I don't know if he could learn anything either. The Pukamuku is just... I don't know. He does, like, the innards out. Like, what is that? Oh, okay, the innards out hurts if he faints. Yay? Thank you for throwing up on me? Yeah, I'd be hurt too. I'm with Gamer Guy. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? All right. Oh, I am, actually. No, am I on the internet? Let's see. Let's see if I'm on the internet. Um, oh, there we go. Connected to the internet. So I was not. Caught myself a cool fish. Damn right I did. Damn, I forgot my Miiverse guy is so freaking dapper. I thought for a minute there it would show me the uh, my Pokemon avatar. That would make sense, right? For some reason it doesn't. Hello, Octillery. We're just going to be having all the octopus. I... Okay. So, don't get me wrong. I like sushi, alright? Love me some sushi. Just, you know, not sustainable fishing. I have some problems with that. Alright, that's just a separate issue. But, octopus, I've had it. It's tasty. But then you see these videos where octopus are doing, like, some crazy, crazy shit. Like, they're escape artists, for damn sure. But not to mention that, they also just seem like really intelligent. They pass the mirror test, which is usually a sign of at least some measure of intelligence. So it's like, okay, so I'm never going to eat octopus again because I'm not sure. What if they're actually like sapient? What if they know what's going on, you know? I don't know if they have their own societies or anything, but they seem pretty bright. Like I know, I know cows aren't, because we pretty much bred that out of them. Chickens, I just eat on principle, because I think that basically they still remember their dinosaurs, and, you know, they need to know their place, and their place is at the bottom of the freaking food chain, and they need to learn that. The best way for them to learn that is for us to have them with maybe not every meal, but pretty damn close. So I'm okay with eating birds. Turkeys, chickens, geese, penguins? I might eat a penguin. If they weren't on the endangered species list, I would consider it. I have no idea how that would work, though, because I think they'd be kind of... I don't know, gamey's not the right word. They'd definitely be chewy. Just give me that impression for some reason. I don't know why I think a penguin would be chewy. Just possibly because they're always exercising, right? They're always in the water, always swimming around. And even if you manage to get, like, farm bread chick um, penguins, which I don't even know how that would work, but let's just say you did it. I don't think they'd be really all that happy unless they got to swim around at least some of the time. I don't know, the chickens probably aren't happy either. But I prefer to eat something that's, you know, had a good life, had some happiness in it. Best milk comes from happy cows. Best meat comes from happy chickens. It's my theory. I don't know if it's actually true. But I think if they at least had a chance of happiness. And they live longer than they would in the wild. I think that's probably two good factors. Like, I think the average lifespan for a penguin right now is probably like three years, something like that, before they're eaten by sea lions. It's a very messy death, from what I understand. Basically, you get chased for a good five minutes or so. Or worse yet, a polar bear. No, actually, a polar bear would be north. I forget what eats penguins. A lot of stuff eats penguins. Not us, though. Not us. We're above that for some reason. Possibly it could just be that the thermal requirements are just out of control. There are some penguins that they exist at not exactly tropical temperatures, but not exactly as cool as you would expect, either. It's somewhere in the middle there. I'll just keep on going. Freeze dry. Whatever. Actually, that did murder him. Freeze dry is super effective. Okay, good to know. Some I thought we tried that before and it didn't work. Okay. But yeah, I would eat a penguin. 
I think they still remember they used to be dinosaurs. I don't know which dinosaurs they evolved from. At some point, though, I would love... I would love all the museums. I would love Disneyland, even. Disneyland doesn't have neither, and that's kind of disturbing to me. There's just... We know now. We know for a fact that dinosaurs used to have feathers. And yet, for some reason, every freaking rendition I've seen, they don't put feathers on it. They did a little bit of token feathering in the last uh, Jurassic Park movie. Where it was like, I think some head feathers, but that was about it. Like two or three. That was it. On, I think, the Velociraptor. And that was it. I was like, okay, at least you get a token thing. They have also did a token thing, I think. Was it in the last one or the one before that? It might have been Jurassic World or the one right after. I don't remember. Um, but the... Um, what was that? Zeon's got mad. What is that? Double battles have some searing the hot things. Okay. Strategy. Trading with the tone right now. Yeah, but what the hell was the madness? Well, and there was madness down. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's doing a max raid battle. Okay. He's in South Lake Melok right now. You know what? It's not necessarily a bad idea. Can I just go to it now? I actually just... It's too bad. I would love to be able to just fast travel from here. Okay, you know what? We'll do one more of these. And we'll go ahead and do it. But yeah, there was a brief line. And I think it was Jurassic Park World. Or Jurassic World, I guess. Uh, where they say, we're not actually showing you what dinosaurs used to be like. We're just creating monsters as a vision of what we think they were like. And that's at least... At least an indication of why they don't exactly match up with the science we know of now. Or what it was then. Which does make sense. I mean, they did fill in a lot of the gaps with frog DNA and a bunch of other nonsense. So, sure, why not? They're not real dinosaurs we're looking at. They're just the idea of what dinosaurs are. But that freaking... That freaking mental image of dinosaurs is so ingrained in the public consciousness. I don't know how you get it out. Gradually, maybe. Start introducing feathers eventually, but... And you might say, well, okay, but the Velociraptor wouldn't look as cool if it had feathers. Are you shitting me? I think it would be scary as fuck. It would still be scary. It'd be just as scary, I think. I think it would work out. If I was any good at CGI, I would totally edit that first movie... The first Jurassic Park movie, when they're in the kitchen, I would edit the hell out of that to have the feathers instead. Just to see if it has the same impact. I bet you it does. I bet you it totally works. Now, what feather pattern would you do? Well, that's a little tricky. For Velociraptors, since they're hunters, it's not going to be bright plumage, right? I don't think bright plumage makes sense for them. And I think you can even go off, like, what the lizard scales are. Like, the lizard scale's not bright. It's just kind of camouflage-ish. I can kind of see that for maybe some plumage. Make that, like, greens and blacks. Maybe, um, I don't know if blue would work necessarily. Maybe. Maybe. I think greens and blacks might be cool. Something very, uh... No, not not macaw. Now, what's the what's the green parrot bird? I've totally forgotten now. Eh, it doesn't matter. Another quillfish, in case you wanted one. It's so weird the time stops when you're fishing. It's so weird in a lot of decisions they made in this game, but you know what? I'm for it. The game's fun. I'm not not bashing the game at all. Just some interesting decisions here. Also, why I just realized the Arco Zolt. Has the same drippy nose as... Oh, shoot. One of the bear guys you can get around here. And that's what it makes him ice. Okay, Mullen. Good to see you level 44. Alright, you know what? Zeon keeps on pushing for some max raid battles. Let's go. Let's go. Let's help him out. So we're going to go ahead and go to the map here. So he was in South Lake Milok, I believe it said. Which is around here somewhere. South Lake would be down here. Oh, we haven't actually gone to Oxy's Eye yet. 
I have no idea if we can do anything there. Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's turn this off. There. All right. Uh, we can't exactly travel directly there. We have to do it from here. Yeah, we could go to Axel's Eye. I have no idea what's there. Uh, one of the other things I have on my list here is get a Ditto and all that good stuff. And we can probably get those. Um, it's the Lake of Outrage, which I've totally forgotten where that is right now. It'd be funny if there's Lopras just sitting out here. It's not true, but wouldn't it be funny? Okay, so here's Axel's Eye. I have no idea what this is all about. Um, there's a nice trainer here. Hello. Crazy strong flush with cat. Okay, you know what? I will totally battle you. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. My gamer guy is kind of weak right now, but it's all right. We can make it work. All right, Pokemon breeder Chloe. Let's do this. A Raboot. Fire. All right, interesting choice. Um, I mean, obviously water would be best here, which we do not have. I've oh, apparently fought a Raboot before. I don't remember doing that. Sure. Uh, ground, rock, or water would work best on this in the sky. All right, let's see what we got. Of course, this is water. Dive would totally work against this guy. Yeah, let's do it. Swap out for Commander Winters here. Though I didn't look at the level. That could be a problem. Okay, 44 versus... Okay, does not matter at all. Actually, that's not very effective at all. So he must be low 40s, not high 30s. Oh, he's just 30. Never mind. He's dead. <laughs> I thought for a minute there this would actually be a problem. But apparently we were supposed to come here way earlier or something? I don't know. So we're going to use Dive. Hide underwater. And then totally murder you. So you get a um, turn to basically contemplate your life and what you've done wrong and all that good stuff. And then you just get murdered. There you go. It's super effective. Alright, so the next time the Cromorant gets hit, I believe he spits this thing at you, at the bad guy here. The bad guy, whatever. A Drizzle. That's a water type, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then they switch out too. Um, so I guess that's Gamer Guy then. Gamer Guy's really our anti-water guy. So gonna swap that out. Okay, so what do we got? Yep, that's the water. Oh, wow, this guy's level 30. Oh, so guys, we're just going to smash him into nothingness then? Goodbye. Yeah, that's just pretty much it, Chloe. Sorry, but I don't think she's going to give us very much cash either. Turns out this fight was not in her best interest. She did not realize we were going to smash her team. A Thwacky. Grass type. Yeah, we'll switch out. I don't think we have a fire type to do anything with, though. Closest thing we got. I mean, a bug type would work too. We don't have that either. No bug type moves, huh? Um, let's see. Anything else for grass? Flying would do it. Oh, ice is good against grass. I did not realize. Okay. Um, Mullen. Oh, no. Mullen doesn't have any ice attacks. That's surprising. Huh. Okay, well, flying works. We have a couple of flying attacks here we can do. Alright. Swap out. Let's see if he still has the fish in his mouth. He might. Nope. Where the hell did that fish go? What do you do with the fish? Alright, so... I don't know. Drill Peck should do it. Should just wipe him out. Yep, that did it. It's funny she just has all three starters. But I think it's been a while since we fought her, so that could be why she's so low level. Chances are we'll see him again. Yeah, we'll probably see her again. We got 9k for that, so that's not bad. It's more than some of the gems are giving us for defeating them. Yep, yep. I've been bad about picking them up, but you're right. That's totally a thing. So there's not them right there, in fact. Air Slash. Okay. Don't think that's effective right now, but I appreciate it. That slices even the sky. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but okay. There were items right here. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Pick up that. Tart apple. Fancy apple. Fancy apple. So the tart one's probably been sitting there for a while. Just don't think about it too hard. What the hell? 
That's awesome. I have no idea if we can fight him, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Chloe's here at level 30. Chances are we can, right? This guy looks great. He's a Haxorus. How strong is he? How strong is he? 60. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, he looks fucking awesome. Doesn't he look great? He's a he's great. He's fantastic. He is gonna murder us. That that is a risk. We could maybe make this work. I have no idea what the hell he is. Most likely he is just looking at him here. Grass? He might be grass. I see grass. Bug? I don't think so. He might be a dragon type. If he is a dragon type, actually he does kind of like dragonish, doesn't he? If he is, then Mimiyuku might be the way to go, because that's our only fairy right now. And this would be a good test to see what we can do against a, a dragon type. Alright. So we need trade out for sure. I'm going to throw Mimiyuku in front of it. This might be a bad idea, but it's our only ghost fairy type, and I think we, it's the only thing we'll have a choice with here. Or a chance with here. Alright, let's try this. We need fairy moves. Okay, outraged. Not affect us. We don't care about that. Okay. We don't have any fairy moves. We just have ghost moves. It's not as useful. Alright, we'll do Shadow Sneaks. Whatever. Let's try it out. Ooh. Okay. Hurt him more than I thought. Guillotine doesn't affect us at all because we're ghost, ghost type, so we're fine there. I'm just sad we can't capture this guy. There's very little chance we could. I think... I don't even know if we even have like the possibility let's keep on doing shadow sneak we could probably mimic like do a guillotine move that'd be neat okay yeah guillotine okay sure why not we'll mimic the guillotine i have no idea if that's gonna work us out It'll work out here but sure so we use mimic grab that move thank you very much so now we know guillotine for a little while anyway all right let's try guillotine five out of five let's go Yeah, I use Guillotine, and he's unaffected. Okay, so he can't be affected by it either. So you're just useless then. Let's try Shadow Claw. At least the ghost moves are working. Outrage doesn't work well. Mimiyuki was a great choice here. Haxorus is just lost here. He has no idea what to do. He keeps throwing moves at us, and we can't be touched. I'm guessing this guy's Dragon type, but we'll never know unless we capture him. Oh, that's not going to do it. He fainted. God damn it. I need to look at my lead card, because I need to see if I can actually... I mean, yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to catch him anyway, because he's like... Six levels above our highest guy, but still. I'd like to see if it's possible. Alright, let's see. So, lead card. That'll tell us. Uh, do I need to look at that? Um, here we go. Trainer can catch Pokemon up to level 55, so we couldn't even theoretically catch him. Alright. All right, that's all I had to know. Okay, let's get out of here then. Let's go do some raids. Or find a Lapras somewhere. I don't know where, though. If one just pops up, I'm okay with just grabbing it. Though, we might run into the same problem. Okay, a bit of energy trickling out. Go ahead and grab that. Boy, the lag here is, for some reason, really strong. I have no idea why. It's not that big of an area. The Gyarados, that's probably not going to help us. Hey, guys. I know I can talk to some of these guys, and they'll give me random stuff, right? Um, we do have a wishing piece. You know what? Sure. Okay, sure. We can save. Save our progress. Wishing piece done. So now we get a magic thing here. And we have some people around it, so maybe that'll help. I have no idea what that is. It's not a Lapras, I'll tell you that. We can invite others. I don't know if it's going to work. Arctozolt. That's a water type. You know what? It, should, it could work. We do freeze dry a couple times. Should work out. So we'll wait here for three minutes and see what happens. Level four. I definitely don't want to fight this with NPCs, but if we wait three minutes and there's nobody else shows up, then we'll switch to an NPC battle. It's fine. Should theoretically show up on people's scopes since I'm online now. Should be like, oh shit, there's something over here. I don't know what this is. It's a little bit of pixel art, but it's so hard to tell. It could be anything. 
me not being familiar with Pokemon at all basically makes that very difficult to say. Uh, we just need a few good, few lucky things here. So what do we need? What do we actually need to win the game? Okay, so we put it that way. What do we need? We probably need three more levels on Arc Result. Maybe the same on everybody else in our current party. If Mimiyuku is an indication of what we can expect, then we throw Mimiyuku out front. He's basically immune to everything. Well, not everything, but pretty close to make no difference. And we basically wipe the floor with the next gym. Then we're not quite done with the game because that's the final gym, but then we have Leon to go after. But remember, as far as everyone else is concerned, I'm undefeated. Right? I mean, yeah, okay, we've had to run away from a couple of wild Pokemon, but nobody else out in the world knows that. As far as they're concerned, every single person that I've fought has been defeated at my hand. I am, according to them, undefeated. And that's the kind of reputation I want to maintain. I never want to have to do a gym twice. So far, it hasn't happened. Even with the restriction of Unevolved, this game's been so far relatively easy because I make sure that I grind up. Yeah, okay, no one else is joining us here. We can just stay ready to... Oh, you know what? Because I'm not saying... I guess we could just start it. Yeah, if no one joins after another place 45 seconds, we'll just join. Just get into it. It's the fact that the battle ends when Pokemon faints four times. The NPCs are just not good. Unfortunately, if no one else is going to join this, we're just going to have to jump in. Though he's water type, and we do stuff that's counter to that, so it should be alright. So the game's been fun. I kind of feel like I'm almost over it, and that's about the right time for the right number of gyms. We have, like, probably... So we have the gym. Okay, let's just hit it. Start it. Yep, it's fine. Go ahead and do it. I mean, if I went by myself, that probably wouldn't work, right? Actually, would it work? I don't know. We'd always be targeted. That would be a problem. Oh, it's one of these guys. It's a Klingler. Okay, well, we don't actually have one of these guys. We could probably just get him anyway. Okay. Oh, sure. Why not? We can go and Dynamax our guy here. In fact, we probably should. Let's Dynamax and Max Lightning. Do it. It's interesting Freeze Drive is not that effective. I think freeze Drive would be. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Kingler's Water type. It's weird. Oh, actually, well, three more levels might be better. 56 would be probably pretty good. We were getting levels when we were hunting for the Lapras. We could still look a lot. Were you shitting me? You're hitting with the water move. You moron. All right. That's at least something. Turns the ground electric. Oh, it's a freaking... He doesn't even have Gyarados. He freaking uses a Magikarp. I can't believe it. I mean, I can, and I hate it. And there goes the Sunstone guy, so that's one faint down. Yep, Soul Rock down. I mean, I have a Soul Rock, but I wouldn't use him in this fight. Okay, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic Move, barely did anything. Okay, well, Lightning it is. Let's go. I'm tempted to fight the other guys, don't get me wrong. But that would actually hurt our chances here. Okay, high horsepower, which buffed that guy. Hydro Pump, because the Magikarp doesn't know anything else, really. Still, though, this might take him the rest of the way. He didn't shield up, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, Did he actually take any damage? Ah, shit, there's a shield up. How did he not... Did he not actually take any damage from that? I'm very confused. The Magikarp's about to... The Magikarp's gonna die. Let's just be honest. Oh, actually, he went against the gamer guy. Okay, I'm fine with that. Nope, Magikarp painted anyway. Well, that's two down. Two to go. The trouble is the shield's gonna just delay this if they don't actually, like, put in some actual fights here. 
Alright, Soul Rock comes out. Please tell me we're actually able to do something. No? Alright. Oh, because it's Hailstorm. In Dynamax mode, it's Hailstorm. That would make sense. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So that's going to take down two of the shields. Which means someone else to do some kind of damage. Nobody gets fainted. Alright. Alright, Nullify. That's actually a great move for us because that's actually a wasted move for him. Okay, there we go. Actual super... Oh, damn it. I thought that was against the King Klingler. That's three. Do not pay attention to me when it said nobody else needs to paint here. Dazzling Gleam at least takes that out. So thank goodness, shield is down, but I think we're, we have a problem here. Okay. We just need to hit him one more time. Rock slide on me. Big deal. It said it was super effective. Ah, oh, shit. That was number four. God damn it. That was it, right? Yep, yeah, that was it. We got whisked away. Well, so much for that. It's all right. It wasn't a lot for us, so we didn't really care, but we lost the experience for it, too. Uh, is he still there? He is still there. Tempted to do that again. There's another one over here, apparently. Gonna just make a beeline. We're high enough level that I don't think anybody there is gonna really pay attention to us. Actually, is there one there? There's something going there. Right here. That's weird. Oh, it's a camp. Oh, it must be must be a player camp. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, let's see if we can find any other areas here. I know there's some stuff on the coast here that I'm missing because I'm going too fast. There, gotta revive. Okay, there is one over there. We'll pretty much make a beeline for it. Whoppers jumps out and says hello. I'll say hello too. But that seems pretty unlikely. I don't think Lapras's are usually going to be found in this area. Lots of stuff just out here, though. Pearl strings. We're going to be rich this way. We could get a Gyarados, but it's not really going to help us too much. All right. We seem to go over there. So that's... Uh, if we go up... Let's go around. It's just foggy here. Let's see if we can see what exactly is available here. So we have... Okay, there we go. In Giant Seat. Giant Seat. The trouble is we have to get over there. So Giant Seat, I think, is topside. It's going to take us a bit to get there. Don't get caught by anybody else. We need to use Max Repel. We have a lot of those, and I haven't been using them at all. Yeah, the trouble is we have to know where we're going. And I'll just be honest right now, I don't. We have to get there in time as well. So Giant Seat should be through there. Come on, come on, come on. Of course, we only have like three minutes to get there. Oh, damn it. And then now we're never going to get there. Because this guy got in our way. Guess my fault for trying to go for the grass. This guy's just going to die. It doesn't matter. 15 doesn't even matter. Oh, that's right. Every time we go through it, I totally forgot that happened. Every time we go through this, we through a Dynamax raid, we just get all of our PP restored. I forgot about that. Yeah, so you're just out. Bye bye, Stufu. If I was looking for a shiny version of you, I'd keep going, but I'm not. So, you're not. Okay, let's keep going. Worse than that means he's probably gone. Someone's do a trade or someone's trading with somebody else. That's the lock. Um, could be any number of places really. Okay, let's look at the oops. Let's look at the nope. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Go out of here. My muscle memory is tied to PlayStation. Just how it is right now. Okay. Trading, you're trading. Actually, someone's trading a trading in Bridgefield. Link trade. Could do that. Um, I've forgotten how to do it right now. That's right, the Y menu. Oh, link trade is different though. We can do a surprise trade. We have a couple of extra guys. 
Nobody from my number one box, but anyone from any of the other boxes should be fine. Do I have any duplicates? I probably have tons of duplicates. Right now it doesn't look like I do. Let's see. I thought we had... We had quite a few duplicates. We don't really need a rog and roller, do we? We don't need any of these guys that don't evolve. We don't need any of these guys. Elder Gloss, we don't need. I mean, we've already found the data for it, so we don't need it. Yeah, sure, why not? So we can get rid of, like, um, the Kingler, for instance. Uh, what's Wild Hud doing over here? Wild Hud should not be over here. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't select him for trade. We need to move him over here. What happened? Hold on. Hold on. Box one, what happened? He should be in box one. He's not in box one. Did I move him out for some reason? I don't know why I would do that. Possibly I was adjusting for somebody else and I forgot to move him over. All right, we'll move him back over there. There you go. Okay. Unfortunately, the Dynamax is just not going to be good for us. Yeah, gain 50 watts. Fine. Nothing else left. And I have no more wishing pieces. Okay, any raids over there? Not for as far as I can see, no. I mean, the thing is, are we actually going to be able to tell? How did he do that? How did he do that? Just went straight out from the um, from the bridge. Don't get got. It's okay. We got it. Bridge field. There's water here. We've never been in this area. The Gyarados is not going to help us at all. Some birds. What the hell are you? Seems unlikely there'd be a Lapras here. Seems the wrong level for it. Actually, a Whale Lord. That's weird. Some berries, which we don't need. Some guy just running around. I mean, these guys might be just starting the new character, as far as we know. Though the only way I found how to do that is you start a new profile. I don't know if there's another way. If there's like you need to start over completely, or if there's another way to do it. It's got to be some way to start. I don't know if exactly a new game plus is the right idea, but something like that. I would say, here's Giant's Cap. Let's try this out. 300 watts, and we can fight this guy over here. He is electric and poison. Okay, well, electric and poison. We'd need ground. I don't know if we have a ground guy right now. Oh, Sunfisk. Totally forgot about Sunfisk. Or Gamble, for that matter. Um, really, it's more about what things we want here. So, if it's going to be ground, fighting is not going to help us. Not against electric, anyway. Yeah, so the, both they have mud shots, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go gamble. It's been a while since we had him. And this guy's four stars, so again, we kind of want to... Don't want to do it ourselves. Alright, so we'll just say we're ready to battle, and this will start whenever. The trouble is I'm doing this kind of late in the day. This might not be ideal. I should probably be doing... Yeah, maybe I need to be playing in the morning... Doing this at night is probably not going to be helping me out and getting these guys. So that's Snowstorm. Also, I don't know what the hell this guy even is. Though I didn't recognize the Klinger, the Kingler anyway, so not sure it really matters. So we could try to go just straight to the next fair, the next gym. Do we need a Lapras? I don't know. Oh, I actually didn't press the button. No, not yet. We'll wait. Never know. Somebody might show up. At least one other person being intelligent about it might work out for us. We could just try to go to the next gym. I'm a little worried about our levels. The Mimiyuku might carry us to victory. Maybe. Maybe. But if we get to level 60, I'd feel a lot better. Oh, hey, machines here. With the him? I honestly don't know what that is. It looks like a dragon. It could be a dragon. This guy could be level 80, level 90, level 100. He's finished the game. He's got all the dragon types evolved, you know? I have no idea. 
It'll be a cool new Pokemon we have never seen before. I've never seen before, anyway. That'll at least be a start. Now, if it's just us two, it might be better than having an NPC who's just going to fail. That's arguable, right? If we could have some way of not having anybody else in the fight, we might actually be in a better position. Yeah, okay, the guys don't definitely going to go against us, but... I mean, he was attacking... Like, in that last fight, we were being targeted almost all the time anyway. If we hadn't been... Yeah, then we wouldn't have fainted. We wouldn't have been able to take him out. I mean, the shields would be definitely a problem. It would definitely take a while to get through the shields, but I think it'd be okay. We'd still have access to our bags. We could still heal if we needed to. Yeah, I think it would have worked. I think it would have worked. So I think if we have the option here, we do not grab any other but anybody else. I don't think that's actually going to work out here. So we're down to the last few seconds here. I'm going to say go ahead and start it. Okay. It might just be us two. I'm okay with that. Let's find out. Um, nope, we got we got other people in. All right. Okay, toxicity. I don't think I've seen that before. Hello, toxicity. Um, I have no idea what the hell that is. Kirim's got pressure on apparently. Wishy washy's got schooling, but at this point, I don't know if that matters. Okay. Apparently, I have Dynamax, so I should do it. All right, so we're gonna do then. Let's do mud shot. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let's do Dynamax, Max Quake. There you go. Made that mistake before. Not using Dynamax when it's immediately available it means we never get to see it. The biggest trap in the world. All right. 214 health should be enough to help take this guy out, I think. Okay, nice Dragon Pulse. Nicely done. Okay, he's got the shield up already. That stinks. But the Max Quake should take out two of those. Okay. Electric. Big deal. So, okay. Got a critical hit on Curem. That stinks. What's with the Magic Heart? The, okay, that's one faint already. Hate these NPCs. <laughs> okay, Maxus. Kind of sucks he gets the second attack. The Wishy Washy's going to drop too, isn't he? That's two out. Well, on the upside, um, I got what I wanted, kind of. Okay, so Max Quake. Take this guy out. Take the shield out anyway. So that's two shields down. Machine is at least an intelligent person. So he knows. He's just got to take out the shield. That's what he's going to do. Do another max quake. That should take him out if the shield's out. That should be it. There we go. Shield's out. He takes a little bit more damage from the shield dropping. There you go. And then he gets to go like three times. But that's okay. It's barely going to hurt us. Yeah, the use big deal. Yeah, barely even scratches machines that Pokemon there. Kind of a weird-looking Pokemon. But the neck just goes out way too far. Okay, that hurt a bit. That hurt a bit. But it didn't kill us. That's the important thing. Um, all right, so he healed up from that. But this should take him out, I hope. Oh, there you go. Almost. Almost. No, no. Machine's got this. Machine's got this. He has, machine hasn't gone yet. So Machine should be able to take it out. Okay, Nuzzle's gonna hurt. Oh, not even. Not even hurt. Okay. Machine, you got this. Oh, please don't bring... Don't, please don't come back, guys. You, you aren't doing anything for us. You're just gonna make us lose this. Okay, fine. Do the schooling. Didn't help you before, but go for it again. Okay, come on. Machine didn't get to go, though, right? Unless I missed something? Just 
to evolve your freaking... Okay, maybe the machine did get to go and I missed it? Toxicity, come on. Okay, there's a machine. That was it. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Machine did it. Thank you, machine. I'm unsure. Why not? We'll capture this. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. A great ball. I don't even know. I don't want to use an Ultra Ball, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. We have tons of cash. No worries. So thank you, machine. You'd be very helpful. NPCs are worthless piles of trash. But nobody's surprised. It's hard to say if I'm going to be actually be able to capture this at all. Nope. Did not work. All right. Well, then he has to go away. It's okay. Ultra Ball is probably the answer there. No worries, we got the stuff we wanted, we got the experience candies we needed, so we're good. Toxic spikes too. Um, sludge wave and gunk shot. Alright. Alright, that wasn't so bad. That worked out. Thank you, machine, that was very helpful. There's a snowstorm in here right now. Actually, is this snowstorm or is it just snow? Let's look at the map and see. The map says this is Snowstorm. Yeah, that's Snowstorm. Holy shit. An actual, honest to God, Snowstorm. Um, I don't think we have anything we want to capture in Giants capturing a Snowstorm, unfortunately. That's the Sandstorm. That's just snow. Yeah, it doesn't help us out. But still, there's a Lake of Outrage. Okay, so also on our list is like a ditto and a couple of other things that's supposed to be near the Lake of Outrage. So we're actually in a pretty good spot to go there. The music's a little crazy right now, right? It's like they're really excited. Okay, so this is up here, the Lake of Outrage, I think, but I can't see a bloody thing. Okay, here we go. Lake of Outrage. Finally, I can see again. I have no idea. These guys are supposed to be level 50-something, I think. That guy's more, though. Focus Slash. Okay. Hold us full HP will endure a potential KO attack with 1 HP. The item disappears. Interesting. Um, what is that? Little electric dude. He's neat. It's a Rotom. Don't we have a Rotom in our little device? I didn't even know that was like a separate thing. He's 57. We can't capture him. We can only capture up to level 55. Fuck. Okay, so... Well, he is strong level, right? All right, all right. Thunder is probably not going to work. He's probably electric type. Which means we need a ground type. I don't have a ground type against him, so we're just have to deal with what we can here. Um... Boop, boop, boop. Well, ice probably is not going to do it either. Yeah, probably not going to work. So he's probably electric something else. He probably flies. Which means electric definitely is not going to work then. Well, if he flies, but then he's also electric, so that isn't going to work. Thundershock isn't going to work. Will we try avalanche here, or we can just try to trade out. We can try avalanche. I don't think it's going to work, but. Okay, substitute. He put in a substitute to take the damage for him. That's a great move. I like it. So I have no idea if the Rotom evolves. I have no idea. So, okay, so let's go Pokemon and trade out for. I don't even know what. Mimiyuki, maybe? Sure. Sure, we'll do that. It's interesting the Rotom took damage from the substitute, though. Not sure exactly what that's supposed to indicate. Okay, there's Rup Aurora. Does not affect Mimiyuku. Alright, try Shadow Sneak. I don't know what this is going to do, but... Okay, it wrecked him, basically. We can't capture this guy. I would love to, but we can't do it. There's Substitute. It'd be kind of funny to capture this. I don't think we can. I really don't think we can, because it's set up to level 55, and this guy's level 57. But I'm going to try it anyway, because what the hell. They can't throw a Pokemon until it's guard down. Right, okay. Nope, they won't even let me. Okay, well, I mean, you can fight it, but why? Actually, mimic that last move, because that'd be really handy. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter right now. It's only for this fight. It'd be funny if Mimiyuki could grab a move. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Do we have to damage it? I think we do. Okay, then Shadow Claw it. Doesn't matter. It's not real. Yep, took damage for it. Super effective. Okay, interesting. It's super effective, though. Okay, there's Trick. What does Trick do? Trick does nothing. Okay. Then Shadow Sneak you. Unfortunately, I can't capture you, Rotom. I'd love to. But we need to be... Basically, we need to get, to get another gym. We also need to, like, be raised up, right? If we need to be... Shoot. We need to be level 60. Well, 55 might do it. If we're 55... That should be sufficient. There's a big, cool guy. Oh, hello, Rotom. I did not want to fight you either, but all right. Sure, we'll do it. So we don't need to throw Mimikyu in front here. Yeah, because Gamer Guy's not the guy to fight this. I mean, the Mimikyu seems super powerful, obviously. All right, let's go, Mimikyu. Yeah, there you go. It's neat the Rotom's here. So what does the Rotom evolve into? Because he's not on my unevolved list. So he must evolve into something. He loves that substitute move. And to be fair, it's pretty good. Alright, well, do whatever. Shadow Sneak him, I suppose. Doesn't actually hurt him at all, but go for it. I guess we could use Slash, too. That would be just as effective. As long as it takes damage at all. So much as one point of damage is probably enough to take it out. You substitute again? Really? You're just going to murder yourself. All right, so we can just use Slash for this, I guess. It says no effect, but none of these have any effect right now, so... Interesting. Um, use Substitute again, which is weird. All right, so Slash just... Because it has no effect on... Okay, it's very strange. So I have to use an actual move. Which kind of stinks, but there you go. But he's doing more damage to himself, or just as much damage to himself than I would do to him, so whatever. Uproar does not matter. Let me just take him out. On the upside, we're gaining more experience than we would normally, right? I'm going up against level 40s or anything. So, get smacked. Super effective. Another Rotom down. I would love to capture one of those guys. I want to see what they, level, what they evolve into, but I guess I'll just never know. They're neat, though. Okay, so no fighting the Rotoms. There's a Ditto around here that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, gain 50 watts, what the hell not. All right, I mean, I don't know where the Ditto would be. I don't know if he's like in there or something. Right, Rotom's after me now, he got me. To be fair, he's moving as fast as light. I, right, we need to put Miyuku in front. Um, yeah, 57, we're not going to do anything with that. So, actually, we could probably just smack him anyway, right? I mean, it says Avalanche is effective and Freeze Dry is effective. It seems weird that Ice would be effective. So what does Ice go against? Go against Dragon, Flying, Grass, and Ground. There's no way he's ground. Flying, I could believe. Okay, that was actually pretty decent. Um, sure, do Freeze Dry again. If only we could capture this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, no, Gamer Guy's getting wrecked here. We should probably trade him out. That was not enough to take out the Rotom. That would be within capture range. If only. If only. Um, so... We can't capture him. If I fight, I think Gamer Guy drops. So I think we trade out. Um, yeah, give me... Get Mimiyuku. Got to heal up Gamer Guy and put Mimiyuku in front. So the Ghost move is really powerful, and that's good against other Ghosts and Psychic. I don't think this guy would be Psychic, but Ghost I could see. But then he doesn't have any actual Ghost moves. All right, we'll smack him down. That's easy. I'm gonna need to rest up my Pokemon so they can get their PP back. Uh, we could just camp. That should do it. Actually, no, that doesn't work, huh? That only heals them. Let's use the move Play Rough, maybe? Try out Slash for that, I'm okay with that. It's a fairy move, too. Uh, yeah. 
We definitely want a fairy move. Because we're going to be fighting a dragon gym and we need that. All right, great. Glyph Keeper level 50, and he wants to learn Psychic Terrain. Um, what does that do again? It's one that trades the stats around, right? Protects Pokemon on the ground from priority moves and powers up Psychic type moves for five turns. Huh. Interesting. I kind of like it. I like the idea of it. I don't know how useful it actually is, though. So his power split's pretty cool. Psychic's a good attack. So this would be really good in a Dynamax raid for sure. If we had a bunch of Psychic types, which is rare, I suppose. Yeah, it's conditional for sure. I'm not wild about conditional moves. I mean, all these are 10 PP in moves anyway. Not great. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Can't make me. It's an interesting idea, though. If we had two Pokemon all out at all at one time more often, I would definitely do that. Why don't you take it? Okay, a couple of noodles. Thanks. Okay. The music is out of control right now. It is definitely thinking we're in some kind of epic battle or something. If there's a Ditto around here, I don't know where they would be, and they're too high level to actually work anyway. Raises special defense for friends' use of status moves. Um, which doesn't matter for me at all, so that's great, actually. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of Rotoms. Big old spiders. I mean, Ditto could be a rare spawn. Actually, that seems pretty likely, now that I think about it. Death Stone makes people evolve. Big deal. Uh, makes people evolve would be different than making Pokemon evolve, I suppose. Yeah, the Rotoms are out of control. The Golems are here. I mean, they're neat too, I suppose, but not necessarily helpful. Oh, good evening. Hello. I'm back, potatoes. All right, sure. I was trying to get that item down the ground, but you guys are all blocking it. And the downside is to be online, I suppose. Waterstone. Definitely don't need one of those. The Rotom's still... Yep, they're out of control. They're coming after me. Hey, it's a Rotom party. Oh, I keep... I haven't moved freaking Mimic you out front yet. Gamer guy's not... You're not ready for this, man. You're not ready for this. Was it that Mimic you has on him right now? Like, raises his special attack or something like that? I don't remember. Maybe just special defense. But hey, at least this will get to level 55 pretty quick. Um, okay, so play rough is not effective, so yeah, shadow sneak it is. Do it. Kaboom. Actually, this Rotom's level 55. We could capture this. We could totally capture this guy. I mean, it says up to, so it's, it's debatable, but... It either means level 54, or it means level 55, and I think that means 55. So discharge will hurt me a little bit. Okay, paralyzed, that does not matter. Disguise, serves as a decoy, but it took damage, right? Yep, now it's out. That wasn't so bad, that wasn't so bad. We just need to do a tiny bit of damage to the Rotom. Just a tiny bit. I think the way we do a tiny bit is if we mimic that attack. Mimic failed? Oh, because it was paralyzed. Okay, no, that's fair. Mimic the next one, then? The thing is, I'd love to capture this guy. Okay, that did hurt a lot. Still paralyzed. That sucks, too. We might need to trade out the mimic you here. Let's, um... So let's do... So we need to heal him first. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do the paralyzed heal, but well, can he take another hit? Uh, he's down lower than half already. I'm worried. Yeah, I'm worried he's not gonna be able to take another hit. Okay, okay. So super pushing. 
That would do 60. Hyper Potion's 120, though. We definitely don't need that. So we can do this, and we'll be able to take another hit. Unfortunately, we don't have any... Okay, he just to substitute. Oh, but he doesn't have enough HP, so he can't do it anyway. So that was a waste for him. We need to do just a little bit of damage. Play the rough might do it, but I'm worried. Might be too much. Okay, trick doesn't work. Play rough. He avoided it. God damn it. He does he's just he just need to be a little bit lower. Okay, trick keeps failing, which is great. There's play rough. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. For the poor little Rotom. Played too rough with him. Alright, well, that wasn't great, but it worked out, I suppose. And we didn't actually lose anything from it, I guess. Um, we should probably just keep on fighting this area. It just seemed to be a good way to get some experience. I mean, I'd love the Lopras and other stuff here, but... Uh, that's not what I want. I want this over here. So, just do a Hyper Potion. I know it's an overheal, but it just makes sense. And as for the Mimikyu... Let's go ahead and do the Paralyzed heal here. Nope, not you. Not you. You. There. And we should trade out just to make sure. So I'm going to move you. Oh, nope. We want to move you up here. There you go. All right. So the Rotom out. Inside the grass are probably not good for us. We probably need to go for the Rotom inside the grass. Oh, hello. Oh, we find a ditto too? Great. That is not a ditto. That is very much not a ditto. I have no idea if the mimic is going to be good for this. Uh, drill pack will probably ruin us, right? Yeah, okay. So, it's Gamer Guy for this. Could use Marntet, but Gamer Guy is probably more likely. What was this guy? 52. Okay. Okay. I mean, really, I don't know if we're going to find a Ditto or anything else. Where else do we need this area? So, Lake of Outrage is Ditto, Drompa, Duraludon, Phalanx, which we already have anyway, and a Turtonator. Okay, I don't think we've seen any of those guys yet, so. Uh, Thundershark probably wasn't great. I'll dive. It sucks. All right. So we're gonna have a Fallings. I have no idea what the hell a Trompa, Duralon, or Turtonator look like. Ditto I'm familiar with, but I don't know how the heck you find out something's Ditto or not. It's probably not gonna work because he's not there. Oh no, okay, there we go. He comes up first. And we just freeze dry and wreck him. Okay, that's expected. I thought maybe he'd come out. He was actually frozen. Interesting. Okay, if he's frozen solid, he shouldn't be able to spit something at us. Just saying. It's pretty devastating, but this should take him out unless he dives again. Okay, he can't move, so he can't do anything. So that should wreck him then. Yep, there he goes. Alright. Bye bye, Cromorant. No worries. That'll level up. Commander Winters is getting up there. Yeah, only Gamer Guy is approaching... Well, Gamer Guy and Mimiyuki are approaching level 55, which is what I want. It's going to take these other guys so long to get there. Okay, by the time, I think... Yeah, by the time Gamer Guy and Mimiyuki get to, say, probably 60 or so, then we'll probably get the rest of them where we want them to be. Unfortunately, Gamer Guy is going to be eating all of our heals in the meantime. Probably super question, right? Yeah, they'll do. So if I hadn't restored him completely last time, he would have definitely been a worse spot. Alright. These guys are neat and all, but I don't want to fight any of them. No, don't want to fight you. Rude. Okay, another water type. Uh, we think we fought one of these guys before. He looks damn familiar. We definitely fought this smaller version. Apparently, we haven't fought this guy. 
Well, he's definitely water type, right? He's probably water bug or something like that. Uh, we don't have fire, flying, or rock. So if he is bug, that's not going to matter. Let's see who else we got. I mean, if he is water type, and he probably is, then gamer guys get one to do it. Yeah, freeze dryer or thunder shock will do it. It's funny, just as soon as I switch out the Mimiyuki, because I was anticipating final last of Rotoms, this guy comes out and basically flips the script. Okay, so now you've made him water type. How does that help you? Uh, B freeze dried. Could capture this guy. 55. I didn't do as much damage as I was hoping it would. Uh, yeah, so it fails because it doesn't work against water types and you change my type to water. You absolute madman. There we go. I don't see and I still not doing too much damage. Still super effective though. Alright, soak me again. Why now not? You crazy person. We might as well capture the arachnid. Let's fill out our Pokedex a little bit more. He should be within range. Well the thing is. Level makes a difference, and since I'm 54, we'd have to drag him down quite a bit for him to actually take, yeah, for him to actually consider joining us. I don't know. This might not work. I'd actually just destroyed him. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, whatever. Whatever. Until we're level 55, I don't think we had a good chance doing that anyway. But there we go. Mimiyuki's now 55. So now we have a chance. Get a Rotom or something, that'd be great. Okay, get rid of you guys. I don't care about you guys at all. What about the other side? What do we got over here? So, Flower Petal Girl, don't care about that. More Aquanoids. More big guys around here. Oh, Alright, see if I can... Nah, that might have been the wrong one. Oh no, okay, that is a Leaper. Okay, we've seen these guys before. Again, probably not the right Pokemon for this. Uh, we fought one of these guys, right? Yes. And we know it's not effective. Okay. Again, it's Gamer Guy. Or we could go Martin Ted. Could be he's not getting enough experience being off in the sideline. Sure, why not? Two levels below, but it should be okay. Okay, missed. I don't know if that matters at all. Lowers accuracy. I mean, it's already kind of sure to miss, so whatever. Stone Edge. Don't have much of that, but... I mean, that looked pretty damn impressive, to be honest. We already have a pull-upper? I didn't even realize. Okay. Well, rough sucks for you, buddy. Um, Solar Beam, the one takes a while to recharge, or takes like one turn to charge or something like that? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's just do Zen Headbutt. I sh might take him out. You don't. You don't have anything in your mouth, my dude. You can't spit up. You don't have anything in. There. And there he goes. All right. Well, the Marantek gets a uh, lion's share of the experience there, and almost leveled up, but not quite. We just need to do fights that everyone else can actually join in here. Okay, these guys are not what I want. Either. Something over here. What is this? Shiny stone. Basically useless for me. Is that a dragon? No, that's an Eevee evolution, I think. Where the hell all the Rotoms go? Are they just in that one spot? Um, I could have sworn they were all over the place. Now they're gone. I have no idea what happened to them. They were all over here, I thought. I confused that with something else. Sure, why not? I'll fight this guy. Okay, hello. It's been a while since we've seen Nuke overnight. And by a while, I mean last episode, pretty sure. Mimiyuku versus Corviknight. Um, probably not. Right? Yeah, okay. Not very effective. Let's see if we have anybody who's super effective. It's Gamer Guy again. Yeah, because the electric against flying, that makes sense. The drill pack's gonna hurt. But sure, let's go for it. Do we have a Corviknight? I don't think we do, do we? I think we keep trying to capture him and they just keep resisting. Let's see. So, scary face. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're very scary. You're very scary. 
we don't have one. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get one this time. You're a brave bird. You're a brave, brave bird. And apparently that makes him fly into us. Okay, weirdo. We probably should heal a gamer knight or a gamer guy. And especially if the Corbin Knight's going to keep on hurting itself, which apparently is on his list of things to do today. So, Hyper Potion. There's nothing that does 80. If we did how the potion did 80, I would totally use it right now, but... That's apparently not a thing. At least it's not something you can regularly get. Okay, yes, you're very scary. I would be fair if I saw this bird come to me in a dark alley. I'd be freaking the fuck out. Okay, you're a very brave bird. This might... This plus the combination of thunder might actually make him faint. Okay, well he's paralyzed. Maybe. Yeah, I think he's out. Because he got damaged by the recoil and thundershock. Oh, it didn't actually take him out. Okay, we might actually be able to capture him. We've got three levels on him. we got a good chance. Ultra Ball is definitely the right choice here. There's a step above Ultra Ball. I don't know what it is. It's not yet. They'll probably give it to us after we finish the final gym. Yeah, okay. There is a step above. Um, We could try that again. With maybe the Mimikyu out? I have no idea. I'm going to try that again. It might not work, though. Survey says he broke out immediately. Okay, he does not want to be caught today. No, we probably need to be like 60 or something to make that work. That sucks. Alright, die. I probably didn't use the Thundershock either, but too late. Swagger does not matter. I mean, you rose my attack. I mean, possibility of confusion, but still. The idea, I think, is that you'll be confused and hurt yourself with the confusion. It'll really hurt because you raised your own attack. Alright, can you just wreck this guy, please, with anything? I know you're still confused here, but still. Oh, he's going to damage himself. That's, gonna, that's a bad idea. He wants to go out in a blaze of glory. I suppose we just let him. There you go. Alright, well, I need to use another hail on heal on gamer guy here. That was pretty bad. Oh, gamer guy's 55 now. Decent. You need to get everybody else that same spot. I suppose experience candy would do it. Experience candy would do it. Um, you have to do another raid battle. Really, I don't know if we're going to find the ditto or anything else. And, I mean, this is Lake of Outrage. It's named appropriately. Just put it that way. I tried all the Rotoms were over here, I thought. There's like 15 of this. Oh, ditto. Ditto, 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 ditto. Ditto, ditto, ditto. ditto. No, did the ditto. Please tell me I got the ditto. Fuck. It's all right. It's all right. We'll fight the Seismitoad. Whatever he wants to do, and then we'll get him out of the way. The Ditto should still be right there. I hope. I have no idea if we fought this guy. Oh, apparently we have. Okay. Probably ground grass or something like that. Um, apparently not. He's also water, which I guess makes sense. Uh, actually, he's apparently... Yeah, if he's water, grass will work. I forgot about that. So Marantep can do this. It's going to be a little rough. It's going to be a little rough because we're a little low level. Hyper Voice does suck a little bit, but it's not too bad. Use the super effective move. We're fucked, but I think this might be all right. Trouble is going to take like three attacks to take him down. And Marantep does not have that in him, I don't think. Okay, so gather up Solar Beam. Okay, and there's Uproar, which hurts, and then we get to do Solar Beam, and then we should probably trade Marantet out. I mean, that was effective, but not very damaging. Yeah, yeah, Uproar's going to be a problem. Okay, yeah, switch out. Um, I could just do Commander Winters. You know what, go for Malin here. Really, we need something with a lot of ex with a lot of HP. Gamer guy might be the only one who has that kind of ex that kind of HP, though. We need something with a lot of boom. Yeah, see, because that's gonna hurt. All right, that's not gonna really work out for me. Uh, 131 is second highest. I guess Mimikyu is pretty high. 
though I'd rather... Gamer Guy has the highest if we just heal him. And we might get a chance to do that. The Seismitoad is going to wreck us a little bit here, but that's okay. Uproar again. He loves that move. Okay, it's fine. We do a Hyper Potion, and we're all set. Not quite a full heal, but close enough for government work. There you go. Okay, he's going to keep on using Uproar for like the next 60 turns or whatever. He loves that move. So fight him. We would like to freeze dry you, please. Good chance of you being frozen. He's going to keep on hitting us with this. We're only we're going to be healing and freeze drying just over and over again. Oh, that did actually take him out. Never mind. We're good. Okay, the Ditto should be right there. I wonder if it's going to just drop us in the middle of the battle. I kind of hate that, but it might do it. Okay, Cliffkeeper 51. We're, we're getting there. We're getting to the possibility of doing this gem pretty soon. The Ditto is right there. Don't move, Ditto. Don't move. I'll be with you in a minute. In just a minute. I just need to heal basically everybody. Now, if I use... Um, I was going to say use Hyper Potion or all of these, but that's a little crazy, isn't it? So that might be right. That might be right. We have a lot of hyper potions. I'm okay with using these. Whatever. We have all the cash. We have almost 200k right now. We're good. Yeah, use it on that one. Use it on that one. Okay, see, 105 points. That was totally worth it. It's not worth it for this guy, but whatever. Whatever. 96 is still good. Commander Winter, sure, why not? Because you're only worth a regular potion, my dude. You're barely even scratched. There you go. Could heal him up all the way. It doesn't really matter. So for a Ditto... Shoot, I've totally forgotten what the hell a Ditto is. He's probably a fairy type, right? In which case, Poison and Steel would work best on him, but we don't actually have those. We don't necessarily want to hurt him much. We want to capture him. So we only want effective. We don't want super effective. The game had to load there for a second. He goes, wait a minute. We're fighting a Ditto? We are fighting a Ditto. Yes, we are, game. Okay, I don't know if Mimiyuki is the right move for this, but I, we've never fought a Ditto before, I don't think. He's level 55, exactly. We're level 56. We could maybe do this. Let's play a little rough. Okay, he's transform. <laughs> Into the Mimiyuku. Okay. All right. So I think that means he does... Oh, shit. Hot. Okay. It's fine. He does the same move, though. We're basically boned. Capture him now, please. Capture him right now. Before he gets to do anything else. I don't know if this is going to work. Please keep capture Ditto. Oh, thank goodness. We got the Ditto. Huzzah, huzzah. At least one of our guys we got captured this turn. Oh, well, we got two, right? We got Quill. That's right, we got the Quillfish. And then we got Ditto. Alright, hey Ditto. It can reconstitute its entire cellular structure to change into what it sees, but it returns to normal when it relaxes. Or what it sees. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. We'll definitely give this guy a nickname. Body of the Universe, what should we name this guy? Body of the Universe says... Alston. Okay. Alston898. You have been chosen as the name of our ditto. Oops. P98. Actually, we'll just leave that off. I think Alston, but just by itself, is a pretty good, strong name. We don't need the numbers. We're good. I'm tempted to add him to our party, because he could be really good against a dragon type. He turns into the dragon type. I don't know what he does. Maybe? So in that case, we can swap out. Like, we weren't sure about... Was it Commander Winners we weren't sure about? I think that was right, right? Yeah, because he's not ice, and that doesn't help us. Let's go it. Let's do it. I mean, he's a normal type. Ditto is, but I don't know. It could work out. We just need the attacks to be different. We don't need necessarily anything else to be. But the game is just lagging out here for a minute here. It's probably because we're online. All this stuff is happening. Okay, let's go do a raid really quick. Get some experience up that way. Though we did get some good experience here, too, so I'm happy with this. I don't know if we're going to see a raid anywhere. Oh, there it is. There's one. 
So we'll go do this. I have no idea what else we're going to be able to do. That is a lot farther than I thought it was. That is way off in the distance. It's all right. We'll get there. Uh, apparently not directly, though. Let's go around the long line. Right, well, don't go through the grass. We learned a dot mistake. There's a bunch of bad guys in the grass who want to eat our face. They're not going to be good at it. There's going to be a distraction, but still. I would love a Lapras. But again, it's a water type. It's not going to help us in the next gym. It's purely a matter of just trying to get all the unevolved types. Which isn't exactly my mission here, right? My mission is just to finish the game with unevolved. We don't need to get all the unevolved tops to do it. It's just a nice to have. Um, is that actually... That's in the water, isn't it? I believe it is. Or maybe not? I don't know. I can't tell. No, it's just in the dusty bowl. There is no water around here. Oh, there's actually a Pokeball over there. How did I miss that? A Moonstone. Ah, pretty much useless for me. Just sell that. All right, here we go. Looks like she's looking out for somebody here, so I will totally join this fight. Um, is this not a fight I can join? Looks like she was looking around. All right, this is an electric poison. So we need ground, really. So I need to switch out. Mimiyuku's not going to do this. This is not going to work for the Mimiyuku. But Gamble should be able to do this. Um, gamble or this, yeah, the steel move isn't going to really move, work for us. Okay, yeah, gamble should work. Alright, there you go. And we'll try to invite others. It looked like somebody else was right there, but maybe I was wrong about that. So I'll just say I'm ready. Really, we just get a couple of more pieces of candy. Oh, there we go. Jonas is in. That's great. On it with a Meowth. Interesting. Is Meowth the ground type? Maybe that he has the ground type moves. And it's funny, only only ground is good against electric. Everything else, well, I mean, electric's good against flying and water. But against electric, only ground is good. Could just start. Jonas is supposedly ready. To, oh, he's also got a stump fist scout. That's not bad. We'll go ahead and keep on searching just in case. A third person would make this spike go a lot easier. So for poison types, again, ground or psychic. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about that. The dragon gym kind of freaks me out a little bit. We're not there yet, though. So on Route 10, which we haven't seen yet either, but on Route 10, supposedly we can get a sojourner. I don't know how likely that is. Actually, I can look that up. What's the percentage chance here? On here, we want Sojourner. Nope. Huh. Okay, where'd that come in my list then? If I can't even find a thing for it. Let's see. So, Stonejourner. Stonejourner. Let's do a search. Come on, browser. Boot up a little bit faster, would you? There you go. Alright. So, Pokemon, Sword, Stonejourner. All right, locations, moves, etc. Great. I want one of those, please. And let's see. So he's a rock type. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. Locations. Lake of Outrage, 2%. Uh, when it's sunny. When it's snowing, it's 5%. And then Route 10 in all weather, I think that says, 2%. Okay, see, so yeah, he's in Route 10 somewhere. Alright. Lord Lake of Outrage, but not in the city it was currently in. Alright, I guess we're just going to go ahead and start this battle. Let's do it. It's alright. It's alright. I should have said no. I should have said no. Because those other two guys are going to be useless to us, but whatever, let's just do it. They're going to have to be a detriment to us, but if we manage to snap him... Should be alright. Oh, that's right. It's a freaking toxic tree. I forgot about that. I should have recognized the silhouette. It's alright. Oh, he's got a shiny. That's a shiny stunt fist. I didn't even realize that was a thing. I guess I should There's a shiny version of all of them, right? Alright, let's mass quake this up. Let's do it. 
Okay, interesting choices here. I think that's a water type? No, he just looks like a big glob of water. I don't think he's actually water. Alright, student for this. I'm just gonna call him that from now on. Oh, that's right, I should probably raise up. I forgot. We do have some Dynamax candies we can use. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Max who's on who? Okay, yeah, that's gonna murder him. Goodbye. So that's one down already. Freaking NPCs, man. Freaking NPCs. Useless piles of trash. Now there's gotta be in the be like a backwards acronym we can use for NPC. Well it's accuracy fell, maybe that'll help. Okay, psychic, that's actually decent. Super effective, except it didn't seem to do anything. Alright, well, be ruined. See, that one did something. Though, he seems to have a lot more health. Alright, so... Jonas should be doing something now. Or maybe immediately after? What's your speed at, my dude? Apparently really freaking slow is what his speed's at. Wouldn't that be a great speedometer? Okay, he doesn't affect us at all. Uh, Venoshock didn't affect... Oh, he switched over. He switched targets. Okay, Muddy Water, which I guess is a ground move. Which all it's doing is reducing his accuracy, which I guess is fine. It's just... Why aren't you doing any actual damage, though? That might be the only move he has that's ground. Guy has too much health. We're hitting him with all the ground moves, and still, he's, his health bar is barely moving. And sure enough, he's going to shield up now. Yeah, it might be the only ground move he knows. Unfortunately, we're going to lose out another guy there, so that's two feints. And the other Pokemon the faint is about to come back. That's going to be three feints. Yeah, you're going to throw him out. It's going to be very bad for us. Don't, don't, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice, right? Once you're in a, in a raid, you have to do what you have to do, but it sucks. Kind of wish I could trade with Jonas here. Because I have a TM for a ground move that I think he can learn. I would love to be able to, like, hand him that... Okay, good. Um, what? I thought it being super effective means it would take care of the shield, but I guess not. Well, that took care of the shield. So I guess being super effective and being Dynamax takes care of the shield? I totally misunderstood that completely. Alright. Unfortunately, we're approaching the 10 turn limit here. Okay, you safeguarded me. Or no. Nuzzle? It's an electric move. Not too bad. Unfortunately, the Dynamax is over. Hopefully, Jonas gets it next. Though, he doesn't really have much in the way of... Okay, let's turn up Soul Rock. I mean, the Psychic's good. Okay, much Shot again. Yeah, he threw out Muddy Water. Muddy Water is a water move. Why would you... What? With Electric, the only thing that matters is ground. Wow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. And the fact that this guy gets to go twice is craziness. Whoa, the Soul Rock fainted again. God damn it. That's three, right? I think that's three. Muddy Water again. Why are you using a water move on this guy? I mean, okay, the accuracy dropping sounds good, but it's just not good enough. You see, you should be doing that. You should be doing that. How is a player character doing worse than... Freaking NPC would in the same scenario. Come on. Okay, special defense is up. I don't think that's going to matter too much. Yeah, wait. He's the one against me. That's not going to do anything. Okay, Mudshot should take him out. This should be it. I'm tempted to use it on the freaking Stunt Fist to show him what's what, but we're not going to do it. That would be rude. It's the Wubba phase down, isn't he? Oh, god damn it. Yep, that's four. That's four. That's it. It's over. Um, so he gets to disappear, right? Yep, there he goes. 
Ah, well. Damn it. Kind of wanted to get another freaking... Well, we could do one more raid. Not here, though. Not the freaking toxicity. He's just a jerk. Actually, there's a couple of guys around here now. How do I join one? There's got to be a way to join one of these. Because they join mine. How do I do that? So look at the Y button here and see if there's a way to do this. Link battle is not quite what I'm looking for. Each player sends one Pokemon. Yeah, that's not actually what I want to do. What I want to do is look over here and say, oh, I want to go ahead and, yeah, join up with some allies. Or do a fight here. There's a lot of trades going on right now. It's a whole lot of trades right now. And a whole lot of, there we go, like this. Let's start a max raid battle. How long ago was this? No idea. But I would love to click on this and be able to just join right in. Sadly, that's not a thing. Because there's a lot of people clustered around this right now. Maybe they're in a fight. Yeah, I think they're in a fight that I can't get into, unfortunately. It's not going to work for me. All right. Well, we got a Ditto, which is cool. We got a Quillfish, which is cool. Got some random guys all around us here, but that doesn't matter so much. All right, let's teleport. I don't know why I got off my bike for that. We don't really need to have our bike to teleport, but nevertheless. So we were over here Route 9. We need to go to Route 10 somehow. Um, how do we do that? How do we get to Route 10? There's a train. Okay, so there's got to be in Hammerlock. Pass through the Route 9 tunnel and make your way back to Hammerlock. How can we just teleport to Hammerlock? Why do we need to go through the tunnel? I mean, aside from story reasons, I know there's perfectly good other reasons to do this way. Let's actually just heal up our Pokemon right now. We'll do a quick bit of story, and then we'll probably do it for this episode. Yeah, just hand them right over. But I mean, we got 55 Ditto, 56 Mimikyu, uh, 50 something. Arco, so we're doing okay. All right, what do you guys have? Do you have anything good for me? I'm here. To, I actually got a bunch of stuff to sell. Let's see. Yeah, we have some pearl strings. You just have those. Thank you. Um, let's see. You get a pearl. Just hand that right over. Big pearl as well. Don't need that. Stardust. I'll have to go. And ball mushroom. We have tons of cash now. Um, what else do you have for me to buy? Ultra Ball, sure, I'll buy three of those. Just to keep me at even 20. We've been using potions, so sure, buy some of those. Did we use the potion? We did use three of those, so there you go. Three of those up. And Hyper Potion, get me six of those. And a Max Potion. Huh. Sure? Give me, like, I don't know, four of those. Well, five in reserve, just in case. In case for some reason a Hyper Potion isn't enough, which is possible. We don't have any with that much health yet, but I can see that being a thing. Now, what do you have? Oh, it's right, he has different kinds of balls. Okay, well, give me a couple of more dive balls. So he doesn't have any... Oh, he does have timer balls, actually. More turns that are taken in battle. You know what? That comes up occasionally, so sure... And the Dusk Ball is neat, too. Don't know how useful it's going to be, but I suppose if we go through a tunnel, it might be okay. All right, so I'm good. Thank you. Do I know you? Your BP shop. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do the, the battle points, which is only after the game's over. So that's less important to me right now. Maybe we'll come back and do some battles um, after we finish with the main story. So chances are... We just go straight in, and the story resumes here. That's my guess. Hello there. You're looking for right hand, and headed over the tunnel to help subdue the wild Dynamax Pokemon. The tunnel is past Route 7. Actually, I guess I kind of am looking for him, huh? He is the Dragon Tamer trainer. So we need to go to Route 7. Um, I guess we shouldn't ride there. We should probably um, press the right button. That's what I should do. That's not it. There you go. 
Okay, so we're at seven. Ah, there's a giant flag right there to show me where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, this might take longer than I have time for right now. So instead, what I'm going to say is thank you guys for watching. This has been Pokemon Sword. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2. We went there, I thought these are still sealed off, but it's not. And I'll see you guys next time.